Hello chaps, Wolfgore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4, one quest at a time. So, in today's episode, we are going to be continuing along our mission to infiltrate the Institute and retrieve our stolen son, Sean. It has been a long road to get inside this place, and uh, here we are. Here we are, we finally got in. Uh, this quest, this quest, this quest is called Inside Job. So, let's go do an inside job. Here we are. And, doesn't seem like there's any opponents here to greet us. Computer terminal. Let's go. View access log. Yeah. I don't know what any of that shit means. View access log. Oh. Okay. I thought it was going to let me... Oh, that holotape that Sturgis gave me to, to put into their mainframe and potentially get some uh, intel. But that didn't seem to be an option there. I tried hitting square. So let's just start looking around. Huh. What's that? <laughs> okay. Okay. Hello. What's that? Hello? I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. Hello? I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Dad, is that you? I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. <laughs> I'm gonna stab you in the face! Uh, started. Institutionalized. Hey, no, I'm not going to be institutionalized. I'm here to bring this motherfucker down. Get my son. Huh. All right, nothing else to do in here. Why? Why can't I do this? Ooh, can I hit that button? Emergency relay button. Oh, I bet that's to take me out if I need to get out. Why can't I do this quest? Oh, here we go. Here we go. For some reason, that wasn't working the first time. Oh my god, that's a lot of holotapes. Which one did he give me to put in here? Network scanner, that sounds right, right? Right? Did I do it? Do I have to play the tape? God damn it. No holotape. Network scanner. Initiate network scan. There we go. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha! Download. Scan complete. Yeah, I inserted that in you, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you like that institute? You like it when I put my my holotape inside you? Yeah. Yeah. That's where we came in. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go this way, I guess. Oh, that looks like an elevator of sorts. No use. Damn. Clean room suit. Interesting. I'm just gonna take all their shit. Folders. Oh, God, I have my folders. All right. Uh, this seems like a bad idea. Going down. Can you imagine what you've heard? What you think of us? I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. I'm gonna stab you. What you think well, of that impression? <laughs> Whoa. This is the reality of the Institute. Wow. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, Countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy, and our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished, but for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. 
as you've seen, things above are unstable. Yeah, you could say I'd that like again. To talk to you about what we can do for everyone. It doesn't seem like you're doing much. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. Give me my son. You are here for your son. Go. Just take these out. Oh. Another one. Scooby. Let's go, bitch. Going out. Child. Yeah. Take all this stuff. Sturgis can analyze it later. Yeah, give me that flower vase. Hey, kid. Sean! Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean, Father, what's it's going me. On? What's happening? I'm... I'm your dad. Yes, it's me. Your dad. I'm here, Sean. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. It'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Please, Sean. I'm your father. Talk to me. Just open the door! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Well, that's not good. Got some Stockholm Syndrome going on, but... Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. What the fuck? Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. You can Let's say that again. Anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. I'm not calling you that. Give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. Just... Help me understand what's going on here. I promised answers. And answers you shall have. But I need you to realize that this... situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far. And suffered a great deal to find your son. Well... Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. What? What? Dr. Sherman! I don't understand. What? That's crazy. Oh, come on. You're crazy. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believe that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not 10, but 60 years? That is the reality, and here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. What the fuck? You were they stolen. stole you. Kidnapped you. Wasn't right. Right, wrong, 
irrelevant. It was necessary. The Institute believed humanity's future depended on it. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. Huh. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. But you're enslaving them. Oh, 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 it's so complicated. Oh, I'm so fucking torn emotionally. I don't know how to process this. Ah, uh, it's, but it's our son. Sean, it's really you. It really is. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. So you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future, no matter what those above ground might think of us. It doesn't matter what they think. What matters is what you do. I'm Preach. glad we see it the same way. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just give me time. What else can I say? To ease your mind. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. Hmm. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute. But his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you, us, to have some amount of revenge. What else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. What the fuck? Collateral damage? 
Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. <laughs> I don't direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? Maybe. I... I don't know. This is so much to take in. I know. And I am sorry. You have been through so much in such a short time. The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. I don't know what to do. I realize that. It's why I'm trying to help you. I hope that you can see that rationally. The Institute is the only thing left in the world that is worth being part of. False. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank <laughs> you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in advanced systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Jeez. Oh man, I don't know how to process all this. What? Just power down? Okay. So what do we got going on in the quest log at this point? Um. So hey, hey, it's not what I said. Uh, so we can go finish up inside job. And we can continue institutionalized to meet the division leaders, but uh, I said yes basically just to because he's my son and he wouldn't stop pressing, but I'm ready to get the fuck out of this crazy town. Go back home to Sanctuary, talk to Sturgis, see what we can learn from that, uh, that intel that we gathered from the database. And how do I actually get out of here? Do I have to fast travel? What's the deal with that? Hang on, let's, uh... See if we can actually fast travel out of here at this point. Oh, there's the institute. It's actually on the map now. Oh, shaboot. Back to sanctuary. See you chaps there. Oh, son of a bitch. Son of a biscuit. Maybe I should just keep going forward. Alright, we're back here. Let's just keep moving forward. And, uh... And, uh just take a deep breath. See what there is to see around here. Might look suspicious if we just run away immediately. Uh huh. Oh! <laughs> There's the door in the middle. I get it. I get it. Deductive skills on point. On point! I gotta say, this facility is super cool, though. Up this primary drive servo. That's the third primary drive breakdown this month. 
As far as I'm concerned, the phase out on these older models Bruce can't come Franklin soon enough. Telling oh, stupid I don't know. Most of them have lasted long past their projected lifespans. If you ask me, they were built pretty well. Oh, I can't argue with that. Even so, I'm ready to see the full Gen 3 roll out. There we go. All set. Unit, huh. you can return to duty. Thanks again. Of course. God, that's fucking creepy. Ugh. Ah. Hi, Doc. Why are you yellow? Do I need to talk to you? Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. When Father told us about you, I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much, I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind Not my me. asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? Uh, revenge. I wanted to kill the son of a bitch who murdered my wife. Kellogg always was a cold bastard. If you ask me, we're better off without him. Now. I'll give you a quick rundown of the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water, and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. Uh, you the work we do might not be as exciting as some of the other departments, but it's at least as important. So. Now that you're here and you've spoken to Father, does that mean you're on board? Uh, just looking. I'm just looking around. I see. Well, please do mind what you touch. Sensitive equipment here, not like topside. If there's anything else you'd like to know yeah, about, we have the sensitive equipment vision, topside. I'm happy to discuss it. Pretty sensitive about it, actually. Um, who built all this? this place originally? Has it been here long? The construction of the Institute is the work of generations of scientists. The original survivors of the war, our progenitors, took refuge in the basement of the old Commonwealth Institute of Technology. Over time, their sons and daughters dug deeper into the Earth and built increasingly sophisticated habitats and laboratories. It's a process that's still going on today. Even now, we're digging out tunnels for new facilities and infrastructure. Just think what this place will look like a hundred years from now. I hope I'm there to see it. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm so emotionally torn. Recon. God, this place is fucking cool. As the Institute's requisition vendor, I can provide supplies Ooh. for your missions on the surface. How may I assist you today? That's Archer. Let's see what you have. Ooh, he's got legendaries. Oh, experiment 18-A, 25% faster fire rate, 15% faster reload, and it does, uses plasma, and does energy and physical damage. That's fucking cool. What else do you got? Ooh, whoa, that's a lot of legendary armor. Enemies have a harder time detecting you while you're sneaking and not moving. Eh. Plus one to agility and perception on the helmet. Eh, I like our sea captain's hat. Technically, that's a little better because you get some defensive stats out of it, but eh. Uh, grants increased energy resistance, lower your health up to 35. We've seen those before. And increased action point refresh speed on the right arm. Hmm, that could be really good. What is our right arm currently? Let's check that out. I don't see any reason why we can't shop if we want to. Right leg, left leg, left arm. Where's my right arm? Where is it? Oh, there it is. It's at the top. Oh, that's our uh, automatic stim pack injector. That thing's incredible. I'm not. I'm not taking that off. I didn't really want to spend those five K caps, anyways. Okay. So this place is divided into quarters. It would seem. And there were four scientists we needed to talk to, the division heads, so we, we talked to the yellow lady in this one, so let's head over to this. Is the, it the true? Quarters, I guess? Supplement 77? Okay. The cafeteria? The surface? Continued. That is correct. That was my favorite one. You know, this might be a little bit easier if we actually uh, go ahead and track this. Okay. 
Bioscience. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Bioscience. Bioscience. Virgil, the uh, the guy who helped us get in here, the uh, the guy who got mutated into a super mutant somehow, he needs us to get him a cure. And what was that quest called, even? Hang on, I'm going to find this. Well, that's interesting. Um, I double-checked, and we do not seem to have a quest to actually get that for Virgil. So maybe that's just an item that we're going to pick up, and we'll just go and deliver it to him by hand. Hello. Oh. Oh, this is so cool. There's a gorilla. Gorilla project is showing promising results. Why are the gorillas? Glad you made it. Oh my. Who's the uh, Institute Scientist? Institute Scientist. Okay, he's over here. Or she? Or she? Hey, Doc. Still people, and so good to have you here. Dr. Clayton Holdren, head of the Bioscience Division. After all, I can't wait for you to see the work we're doing. It's truly amazing. Oh, I'm actually intrigued. I look forward to learning more about it. In that case, let me give you a brief overview of what we do here. As the name implies. The Bioscience Division specializes in fields of study such as botany, genetics, and medicine. Our most important directive is to ensure the health and well-being of everyone in the Institute. We've even started Oops. to explore the idea of synthetic animal life. You probably saw the gorillas. They're really just a pet project at this point, but the potential is exciting nonetheless. Wait, those aren't real gorillas? <clears throat> those are synthetic? Seems That's like fucking there's incredible. You guys can't do. With hard work and ingenuity? Any challenge can be overcome. I'm sure I've taken up enough of your time as it is. But I have to ask, have you decided whether you'll join us? Uh, I'm not, I'm not sure. sure. Right now, I'm just trying to keep an open mind. It's a big decision, I know. But it's also a rare and important opportunity. No need to rush to judgment. In any case, I imagine you'll want to continue looking around. Or, if you prefer, I'd be happy to answer any questions you might have. Um, synth gorillas. Tell me more about those synth gorillas. On the whole, I'd say they were a success. Their behavior does generally match what our historical data says it should be. Unfortunately, we had a few early setbacks. The creatures can become suddenly aggressive, and they're quite strong. They destroyed two of their synth handlers. So now we keep them in an isolated habitat where they can be safely observed. God, that's fascinating. Oh, oh, I'm so torn. Not even emotionally, but like... To be honest, the Institute's pretty fucking cool. Oh, it's like... Alright, the only group that I'm not, like, overly fond of is the Minutemen, to be honest of. Like, yeah, they're, they're fine. They're chill. But, eh. But I, I really love the Brotherhood of Steel. And the, the railroad is growing on me rapidly. And now the Institute is not only run by our son. Uh, let's look for that thing for Virgil. Yeah, it's not only run by our son, which is the entire point of everything. But it's cool. This is fucking cool. Like, what? What? What am I going to do? Like, it's my understanding that at some point you have to make a choice between the different factions. I don't really understand why or when that's going to come into play. But I I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was going to be a Brotherhood man through and through, but we, we are facing some interesting... Some interesting dilemmas. Way too much. No, nope, it's going to be this way. And a little more. There we go. Yes. Yeah, guys, I don't know. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't you uh, feel free to leave me your suggestions down in the comments below on what you'd like to see me choose. Because I just don't know. Though I, I still don't understand why I'm going to have to choose or when that's going to come into play. Hopefully it just doesn't, and, that I, and I, I'm misunderstanding that. God, oh my lord, this is confusing. Just freaking underground labyrinth. Can I just, like, get Virgil's stuff, please? 
Oh, doors everywhere. Oh, lord. And loot everywhere. Good god. I could spend like an hour looting this place if I wanted to. Well, this is old. Somebody just keeping their stash in the old office. Can I actually take all of these microscopes? No, okay. I was gonna say, that's like... That's a lot of microscopes. So Virgil definitely worked in bioscience. They made that very clear. And we are in bioscience, so... So it's gotta be in here somewhere, right? Oh! Ooh, what do we have here? And where's Captain Kirk? Why don't I have Captain Kirk with me? What the fuck is that about? I just noticed. Maybe that's just part of this particular quest? Um, okay, this is starting to look like a... Like an area with enemies in it. Got it. Hostile enemies, that is. The Institute is still technically the enemy. That has not changed. God, just medical packs everywhere. It's great. Oh! Oh, hit it already. Jesus. Machine gun turret? another one. Jeez. Another. Man. Okay. This is getting interesting. It was already interesting, but... Oops. Great luck, picky. Nope, not that way. A little bit up. Nice. Nice. Here, another turret. On the ceiling again. Oh! Hi! 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 Um. Yeah. Let's go. Phew! Oh, Lord! Oh no, that's not good. Shoulda, shoulda took out my stabbing knife. Oh god, now it's invisible. Oh, this is doing nothing. Oh lord. We need to get out of here. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Uh -oh! Okay, dude, that's fine. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah! Ah! Get back! Get back! No, I don't want to die! Damn it, they're probably going to take that freaking legendary away from me like they always do when you die. Really freaking triggers me. Just saying. Do you mind? God, I love this gun. I love it. It's so fun. Okay. I'm gonna stab him. Damn it. Damn it all. Little bit up. Little bit down. There we go. Nice. Okay, why don't we quick save this time just in case that legendary is back? Oh, it is! Yes! Gosh, good, we have a crit too. <laughs> there we go! Yeah, let's actually use our build. <sighs> Who's. Hey there! Okay, you jackass. Jump right away. What'd you drop? Deadeye Gauze Rifle. Time slows down for a moment while aiming. What? And it takes two millimeter EC rounds? What the fuck? Cool. 
Cool. That's a lot of radiation. Could you stop? I can worry about loot later. Just want to find that thing for Virgil. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? What's this? Oh, god damn it, a terminal. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh! Woo! I realized there was two until it started beeping at me. Um, terminal somewhere. Fuck, fine. Uh, fine, we'll do it. For Virgil, we did make a promise, and I'm a man of my word. As best I can be, Dawn. One likeness, D-A-W-N. That has a matching A. So it is the A. Yes, it could be Sash. That's it. Hey, it was Sash. Nice. Turret control. Deactivate. And door control. Open. Nice. Okay. So we shouldn't have to worry about turrets anymore. In theory. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. 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 Could you stand up? You know what time it is. A thumbnail! Let's change the lighting. Oh, yeah, look at those options. That's a cool thumbnail. Um, this? I mean, this looks right, right? Oh, what the fuck? There's an empty one. Hmm. I don't know what's going on in here. But I, I sense that we are in the right area. Brian Virgil, personal log. Boom. Can we use this? Can we play that? Um, load holotape. There we go. Personal record. Dr. Brian Virgil. This will likely be my last recording. My requests to shut down the FEV program have repeatedly been denied. Are nothing useful in the last ten years. Why does father insist on continuing it? If he won't see reason, then I have to take matters into my own hands. What we're doing, it's not right. It needs to stop. If anyone should find this out, after I'm gone, know that I never wanted to hurt anyone. Anyone! Do you understand me? I'm gonna make sure the whole program is shut down. Not for good, then at least for years to come. After that, I know what I'm about to do will be seen as a betrayal. Treason, he'll probably call it. So, I'm leaving. I have a plan. And if it works, I'll be somewhere safe. Somewhere not even the coursers can find me. Everything that we've done, the lives we've taken. If there is a god, may he have mercy on us all. My. So, Brian Virgil. Okay. Is that it? Drinking glass. No. All right. I really feel like we're in the right area, but I don't know what I'm supposed to be grabbing for him. What does it look like? What does it smell like? Oh! Oh! Experimental serum. <laughs> Bring the serum to Brian. Oh, God, what were they working on here? Maybe when we bring in the serum, he will uh, be grateful enough to tell us a little bit about it. Ew. What's this now? That looks dangerous. Can I deactivate that? Yes. Deactivate laser grid. Convenient. Quite convenient. Um, <clears throat> don't mind me. Oh, gorillas. Hey, guys. How's it going? All right, uh, so we got off on a bit of a tangent there, but we actually got the serum for Virgil. Fan-frickety-tastic. All right, back in the main chamber. So let's go ahead and continue meeting the department heads. And once we've done that, 
we'll get out of here. Shouldn't take too long. All right, so we are in the advanced systems. She's been at it for over quarter. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. <laughs> huh. So they developed the weaponry that the synths use, the Institute rifles. Hello. Excuse me, Doctor? Ah, it's you. You're here then. Yes. Yes, yes. I know who you are. We all do. While I'm sure Father is very happy that you're here, I do hope it doesn't interrupt our work. Um, it might. <laughs> we'll see. Well, that's insulting. Um, I'm sorry. Not my intention. There's just quite a bit going on right now, and your arrival has the potential to throw things off schedule. Mm, oh, fair enough, before it I does. Forget, let me see that pit boy of yours. Why? I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. Why? You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Oh, thanks, Dad. Thank you. Uh, I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the relay is the only way to access the Institute, handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Now, unless there's something else, I really do need to get back to work. Mm, I don't care for you. I'm good Goodbye. for you. Thanks. All right. Goodbye. All right, cool. Now, that explains how we get in and out of the institute. I one to go. No visible reaction to the K-14 compound. We'll start the next trial. The dosage will be much larger this time, and the side effects will likely be more pronounced. Will there be any pain? I honestly don't know. Hmm. I suppose it's your job to find out. Now hold still. Ugh, sketchy. Oh, are you a... Well, I guess these are all doctors. I suppose I could ask one of them to come check all on my them. wife. You can return to your See if that bullet hole in her head is a... Uh, you know the protocol, sir. It's the authorized the personnel only. Oh, that's so good. Dr. Ayo thinks he can hide in his office, doesn't he? Well, you can tell him that Greetings, I sir. Greetings. About these unannounced security suites. Hello. Knock some heads together. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh yes, yes. Just cutting line. That's fine. In here. There's enough friction as it is. Hello. Just an Ayo. Here you are. Just an Ayo. Acting director. Ayo. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. Yeah, well, I'll I'm be sure keeping a close know. eye on you, Justin. Ayo! Issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? Oh, it's nothing personal. I don't trust anyone. Hey, fair now, enough. Now, father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the synth retention. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Ao, I got a problem with you. I got a serious problem with you. You're you're the slave master of the synths, and I want them to be free. Um, let them go. If the synths want to be free, you should let them. Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping, that matter is currently under investigation. Because they want to, dum dum. Is the courser. A third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather one. you know all this since you've encountered them already. Yes. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. Um, I stabbed him to death. I'm no stranger to combat. Even so, Courser should be more than a match for any single combatant. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to you. Hmm. Um, I'm good. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Okay, completed. Institutionalized. Oh, 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 go, 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 go. Yeah, baby. 2060 XP. Don't mind if I do. I don't mind if I do.
Well, that certainly put a smile on my face. Started. Synth retention. Yeah, I, uh, I don't think I'm going to be helping them reclaim synths. I will be doing the opposite, to be honest. But we got a level, so let's come over to our piggity piggity perk tree and see where we want to put that. Uh, the Kill Vats now has a 25%, 25% chance to restore all action points. We put another point in Grim Reaper. We can put more points into Gunslinger. Or, I kind of want to start... Uh, I want Action Boy. I want Action Boy too. No, let's just put one point into that. 25% faster AP regeneration. Really freaking good, if you ask me. Uh, so let's get out of here. Can I fast travel from here? Let's try. Hey, oh! Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, what a fucking trip. God, that was wild. Ah, uh, okay. Back in the land of sanity, apparently. Need something? Oh, hey, buddy. <clears throat> Want me back on deck, huh? Always. I gotta admit, things have been pretty quiet without you. I missed you too, buddy. What's new? Anything new? I'd prefer to leave the latest gossip and fashion tips for the others. Tom's quiz on how to find your ideal mate, I especially recommend. Uh huh. Not right now. Well, if you change your mind. All right, buddy. Keep cool. Um, so we need to go talk to old Sturgy boy. He seems to be up in the tree fort. Can't blame him. Can't blame him. It's a pretty cool tree fort. Sturgis! There you are. What's going on? Uh, I just infiltrated the Institute. Uh, it was kind of a trip. My son is like 60, and I'm like 200-something. I just found that out. It's kind of a trip. As well, I got you this holotape. Here's that holotape you gave me. Full of Institute data. I hope. Well, alright. I'll start digging into this and see if I can make heads or tails of it. Great. Uh... What do you hope to find? Whatever the Institute doesn't want anybody to know. Uh, all the good stuff on here is going to be encrypted. So the first job is to see if I can crack it. After that, well, I'll have to see what I've got. There's no telling what we might have grabbed off their mainframe. <laughs> Ooh. And we did an inside job. Uh, that was an easy one. Deacon disliked that. Preston liked that. Why, Deacon, why'd you dislike that? I'm confused. I'm, I'm infiltrating the Institute, buddy. Isn't that sort of a, a mutual thing that we have? Okay, whatever. Captain Kirk, why aren't you hey. coming with me? Come on. Wait there. Follow. Come on. Come on, buddy. Coming with me, right? Okay. Um, Before we wrap this up, let's go talk to Virgil and tell him we got the serum. Ah, radiation, ugh. Hey, Virgil. I got a present for you. Well, I'm glad to see the relay didn't completely vaporize you. Only partially. One of my testicles is still missing. The interceptor worked. It was rough, but it worked. Amazing. And what about the serum? Did you find the serum? Yes, I did. Got it right here. That's it. That's really it. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Retrovirus has matured nicely. Density okay. gradient is high. Recombinant counter intron sequences look stable. Transcriptive exon strands have formed. What? That's good. It is. But there's only one way to know if it works. Um. All right. Do it. Here we go. Do it. Uh, uh. No. We wait. How long? How long will it take? I don't know. Nothing like this has ever been tried before. I'm going to rest for a while. I'm back in a few days. Maybe a week and... Well... I guess we'll see. In any event, you kept your end of our bargain. Thank you. 
Okay, great. Um, so, we gave that to Virgil. We'll try to remember to check in on him in the future. But I think that's where we're going to call this one for today, chaps. Wow, lots of lots of lots of new information to process. I, I don't even know how this is going to affect the future of the series, knowing what I know now, but hey, we did it, and it was a fun episode. Anyway, so I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. You can leave a comment. It does help the channel grow, or you can subscribe for more of my content. But either way, I'll see you chaps here next time with more Fallout 4.